welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in years, but it's only been like two weeks. <laughs> and I am filming on a Monday, so. Um, so everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am finally reviewing the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Serum, which looks like this. I feel like my camera is really low today. I am sorry for these ever-changing camera angles. So Peter Thomas Roth very generously sent this over along with their even smoother glycolic retinol resurfacing peel pads um, as part of PR in December. So I am not getting paid to film this or share my thoughts with you all today. If you are new here, my name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future videos. Peter Thomas Roth describes this as a resurfacing serum that combines a 15% glycolic acid complex with 1.5% percent time release retinol to help improve your skin's texture and elasticity. You may find this at peterthomasroth.com and sephora.com. This does retail for $65 and you do receive one ounce. Sorry if you can hear Toby snoring. Um, we did go on a walk today. Peter Thomas Roth suggests that you gradually, and I do too, build on your skin's tolerance to nightly use. You want to apply the serum on cleansed, toned, dry skin. Hello, glycolic acid. If irritation or redness does occur, you should discontinue use of this and any other actives until your skin is balanced once again. There are a number of really good ingredients here, some of the best, such as glycolic acid, jojoba seed oil, adenosine, ascorbic acid, niacinamide, retinol, and sodium hyaluronate, just to name a few. There are two potential skin irritants here, however, such as sodium hydroxide and alcohol. In formulas that contain either ascorbic acid or retinol, alcohol will help with their absorption. In high concentrations, however, um, not seen here, alcohol does break down the surface layers of the skin. Within this formula, as mentioned, alcohol is the third to last ingredient. I have used a serum a while ago with loads of alcohol. I think it was like the third or fourth ingredient. And my skin was looking phenomenal uh, week three. But by week four, it's when I experienced major irritation. I have now tested this for well over four weeks and I have not experienced any redness, any rash-like symptoms on my skin. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid with a small molecular size that can sensitize some skin types if not properly conditioned. Glycolic acid and AHA uh, helps improve the skin's texture, the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and minimize sun damage. It's also got a smaller molecular size than, say, lactic acid, niacinamide, is all the rage in skincare at the moment. Everywhere you turn, there you see it, niacinamide. I recently tested Pharmacy's 10% niacinamide overnight mask, so I will link that up above in case you missed it. Niacinamide is perfect for those seeking to minimize the appearance of pores and improve uneven skin tone and dull skin. Niacinamide, an antioxidant, also strengthens and hydrates skin, making this an essential ingredient for those dealing with a compromised barrier. When paired with retinol, niacinamide minimizes irritation and flakiness often associated with retinol use. Retinol, the 15th ingredient here is a skin restoring, fine line diffusing, skin affirming, and pore minimizing antioxidant. 
I often like to describe this as a dynamic skincare ingredient that addresses multiple skincare concerns. Retinol is effective in many strengths as it tells the skin to look and act younger. When purchasing products with retinol, it is important that you as a consumer pay attention to its packaging. Is it airtight, opaque? That is best as it ensures the effectiveness of the ingredient. Over-the-counter retinol products are less likely to irritate and dry out the skin when compared to derm or dock prescribed strengths, as over-the-counter formulas need to be converted into retinoic acid. I began using this serum on January 10th. I used it after a lifting routine with my new face boosters and activators to create a buffer between my skin and this little guy's initial application. I recently uploaded a video review on the new face boosters, so I will link that up above in case you would like to learn a little bit more about them. I made sure to apply a pump and a half of this to my skin, and despite already having a layer of both boosters and the activator gel, I still experienced a tingle, and this tingle lasted for about a full minute. I loved that the product applied beautifully and evenly over the skin, and I also appreciated the fact that it was not sticky at all. On January 12th, I noted that my skin felt dry at around 5 o'clock. And on January 14th, I did perform a lazy kind of skincare routine by just using the pharmacy niacinamide mask and a hyaluronic acid serum because I was feeling a little ill from my booster shot. Plus, my skin just needed. It was literally itching for that extra hydration. A few weeks later on January 31st, I noted that when using this serum alone, the glow factor just was not the same as to when I combined this and the new face boosters. Alone, this product gave me more of a natural Low. I am on week four of this test and today my skin felt smoother, it looked plumper, and the glow was actually there again. I did not use this every night, um, even though I really, really wanted to. I felt like my skin definitely needed a few hydrating routines in between using this. I did also um, sneak in my tretinoin just because, you know, I need to get some use out of my tretinoin. And I'm also trying to work on my skin while performing these tests for you. I did experience a little flaking, especially around the forehead and chin area when using the tretinoin. When using tretinoin, I would, you know, use my tretinoin on Monday, do a hydrating routine on Tuesday, and then if needed, I would repeat hydrating routine, and if not, I would go in with this on the third night. And that is, again, just so that I could get my tretinoin use in and also continue to test this for you all. I have used both glycolic acid serums and retinol serums. The only time I've used them both together, um, it has been when I completed my Jan Marini skincare management system test, which gave me excellent results. I think that has been the best my skin has possibly ever looked. And also at the very start of the year where I was doing new face boosters and the niacinamide mask by pharmacy. Those are two different products from the same skincare range that have been formulated to be used together in one skincare routine where you have Siesta Facial Serum, BioClear, and the Retinol Cream Serum Treatment. Those 
products layered beautifully together and yielded incredible results. Price range here is a little higher. We have the Jamborini Bio Clear Face Lotion, which retails for $85 alone. And you have the Age Intervention Retinol Plus Retinol Cream, which uh, retails for $90. Um, and in total, you have $175 price tag. So that is pretty high compared to this little guy, which retails for $65. Despite being so cold, well, at least California cold, my skin did pretty well with this product. We must remember, however, that I have normal skin that's conditioned to acid, acid blends, retinol, and tretinoin. I did not experience any redness or irritation, but I did feel like my skin needed a hydrating routine um, either twice a week or sometimes even three times a week from using this product. I also reached for an oil to seal everything in and provide my skin with um, added antioxidants and moisture. I will say that the oil I reached for, reached for was the Six Golden Nourishing Face Oil that intensely hydrates and conditions the skin. And this is what it looks like. This contains um, eight cold pressed oils to give the skin a glow and it's loaded with antioxidants and you're supposed to use two to three drops in place of a moisturizer anytime your skin needs extra nourishment or as a uh, nice little treat. So I really enjoyed this as well. My overall results from using the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Serum um, were smoother plumper and more of a natural glow. However, I am on week four and my skin looked really good when I did the demo for you all today. So hopefully you guys were able to really have a look at the skin since I did use the serum last night. Um, I did test this serum multiple ways with other serums layered under it and over it with different moisturizers and night masks and this worked and layered beautifully without pilling. Again, I did not use this during the day and this worked very well when layered with my Six Golden Oil. My favorite way to use this was after performing a lifting routine with my New Face Microcurrent device, the boosters, and the activator gel. So I would do that routine. Sometimes I would do that immediately after coming home from work. I would let everything just kind of sink in and then and, you know, go downstairs, cook dinner, watch some TV, and then I would come back and apply one and a half pumps of this over just my face. Sometimes I feel really iffy about applying retinol to the neck as there is less adipose tissue there and sometimes you can either create more dryness, perhaps a rash. So I didn't do that. So one and a half pumps to the face and then I would either follow it with my Pharmacy Niacinamide Mask or I would follow it with the Ula Enriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. A review on this is coming soon. When I did that particular routine, my skin the next day would wake up with a glow, especially if I used the Pharmacy um, Overnight Niacinamide Mask. I feel like once I would rinse that off, the glow would definitely stick. I would recommend this serum to anyone with combo normal oily skin who has used glycolic acid and retinol. Perhaps not both on the same evening, but perhaps 
you know, one day I'll do the retinol, one day I'll do the glycolic, and then the next day I'll do the hydrating routine. Um, I definitely would not recommend this to anyone who is just starting their skincare journey. Personally, I found this serum to be uh, more retexturizing and more of a preventative care serum. I did feel like I noticed my upper lip area just looked plumper, and I'm not sure if that's just me paying more attention to that specific area but it just feels like my upper lip is just plumper for some reason. During this test I experienced one uh, pretty painful hormonal break breakout which you can probably still see here um, and during the demo. If you have dry but conditioned skin, I would consider pairing this with an oil uh, to just kind of seal everything in and provide the skin with more moisture. My pros here, I love that it combines two active ingredients beautifully that we often hear we shouldn't combine. Um, I love the packaging. It it's not going to allow any air or any light and this will not affect the performance of the actives here. I also like the price point. It seems pretty fair considering we have 15% glycolic acid and 1.5% time release retinol. I feel like it works very well under different ranges and skincare serums, moisturizers, and oils. And I love that this is uh, fragrance free. My cons here, I do have a few. Um, if you're looking to wake up with an incredible glow overnight, uh, be prepared to wait. Um, you may just see the glow, that luminous, radiant glow that we expect from, or at least that I expect from my skincare routine um, or exfoliating serums um, around week three or four. What you can also do to kind of amp up that glow that you will wake up in the morning with, use it with a daytime serum that in fact gives you a luminous glow or a moisturizer that gives you a radiant glow or a primer that gives you your desired level of luminosity. Despite having pretty conditioned skin as well, I still felt like I needed a hydrating routine or an oil at the end of my nighttime skincare routine to give me more moisture. This isn't a deal breaker for me because I do like changing things up. Um, unless I am, you know, in a skincare funk, which does happen. My final con here is that this does contain a low level of alcohol. I am going to be rating the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Serum a an 8.5 out of 10. I am deducting one point for the alcohol and half a point for the average slash potentially sensitizing ingredients because this does combine glycolic acid and retinol. I, again, would not recommend this as your first glycolic or retinol-based product. I'd definitely start by using a glycolic acid serum on one night and perhaps a retinol cream or serum on another night. If needed, definitely implement a hydrating routine on night three until your skin adjusts to both actives, of course, uh, being used on different nights. Once products are emptied, give this product to go if you feel like it targets your skincare concerns, texture, uneven tone, perhaps breakouts as well, fine lines. Um, starting with a serum that combines both glycolic and retinol can potentially irritate skin that's not ready for this combo. Do not purchase this product if you've never used either ingredients in a standalone product. I feel like you may do just hate it and end up either returning the product or irritating and really drying out your skin. I definitely enjoyed putting this product to the test. I loved trying different combos and seeing the results. I look forward to testing the pads next. Um, 
really looking forward to those. So let me know if you have tried this serum in the comments down below. And yeah, that is all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Camera is flipped. Oh, just flipped back. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, so Peter Thomas Ross. He's running through a field. Chasing squirrels. He has just been looking so adorable lately.